from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 3rd, 2021. We open with the official decision of the ICC to investigate Israel for alleged war crimes. Outgoing Chief Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court in The Hague, Fatou Ben Souda, announced today that she was opening an investigation, which is at the request of the Palestinians, into alleged war crimes committed by Israel during the 2014 Gaza War, which saw Israeli civilians under incessant barrages of rocket attacks from Palestinian terror group Hamas in Gaza. The ICC will also probe alleged war crimes committed by Hamas. The ICC does not try countries, but rather individuals. The investigation will cover the period beginning on June the 13th of 2014, which is significant because the kidnapping and murder of three Israeli teenagers, Eyal Yifrach, Gilad Sher, and Naftali Frankel, carried out by Palestinian terrorists, which was the start of the conflict, took place on June the 12th. The Palestinians had asked for the investigation to begin on the 13th so that the ICC would not look into the heinous act. And the Palestinians lauded today's announcement. Well, Israel, of course, is outraged. Prime Minister Netanyahu shared that outrage in a video message released today. The decision of the International Court to open an investigation against Israel today for war crimes is absurd. It's undiluted anti-Semitism and the height of hypocrisy. Without any jurisdiction, it decided that our brave soldiers who take every precaution to avoid civilian casualties against the worst terrorists in the world who deliberately target civilians, it's our soldiers who are war criminals. We will never stop fighting this injustice. We will speak the truth in every forum, in every country, on every stage, until this outrageous decision is reversed and becomes null and void. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin tweeted, We will not accept claims against the exercise of our right and our obligation to defend our citizens. The state of Israel, he wrote, is a strong Jewish and democratic state which knows how to defend itself and to investigate itself when necessary. We are proud of our soldiers, our sons and daughters, the essence of our people who stand guard for their country generation after generation. And Defense Minister Benny Gantz stressed that Israel would fully back its soldiers and commanders. He said Hamas and Hezbollah hide missiles in people's cellars and yards using their citizens as human shields. And while our enemies trample upon their people's basic rights, and while there are regular and horrific violations of human rights around the world, the ICC prosecutor at The Hague has decided to launch an investigation against Israel, the sole democracy in the Middle East, which has, Gan said, some of the highest moral standards in the world. Israel's Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi called the ICC decision an act of moral and legal bankruptcy and said Israel is a democratic state with an independent and effective legal system that is not a member of the court and that investigating Israel is a breach of the ICC's own mandate. Israel has also said from day one that the Palestinian Authority is beyond the court's jurisdiction since it is not a state and not a member of the United Nations. Jewish organizations shared their outrage as well at the ICC's announcement today. B'nai B'rith International wrote, It does not suffice that the prosecutor is also open to probing Palestinian war crimes. There is no moral or legal equivalence whatsoever between Israel, a democratic state, seeking responsibly to protect the lives of its diverse civilian population and Palestinian terrorist groups openly committed to indiscriminate atrocities and the very destruction of the Jewish state. Turning now to some other news, Israel said it has identified the vessel responsible for the massive oil spill last month that devastated the country's coastline. And Environmental Protection Minister Gila Gamliel suggested today that the oil spill was no accident. Gamliel tweeted that after reducing the number of suspects in the incident, we discovered that it was not just environmental crime, but environmental terrorism. 
She said a pirate ship owned by a Libyan company that left Iran is responsible for the environmental attack. Gamaliel said Iran is waging terrorism not only by nuclear weapons or by trying to establish itself within our borders. Iran is waging terrorism by harming the environment. Israel's Channel 13 News reported that Gamaliel's assessment is not necessarily shared by Israel's defense establishment. We will continue to follow this story. Well, an Israeli hospital was ranked among the best in the world. Newsweek's list of the top 200 hospitals across the globe listed Sheba Medical Center at Tel HaShomer in Ramat Gan as one of the world's top 10 hospitals for the third year in a row, coming in at number 10. The top spots went to Massachusetts General in third place, the Cleveland Clinic in second, and the Mayo Clinic in first. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, March the 3rd at 7 o'clock, educators Christine Bonarigo and Emily Hernberg of the New Canaan High School read passages from classic Holocaust narratives and discuss how these works affected the lives of their students. At 8, terrorism and legal analyst Yona Jeremy Bob discusses Israel's nation-state law and other issues. At 9, Mark Golub speaks with Leah Golden, mother of IDF Lieutenant Hadar Golden, who was murdered by Hamas in 2014. She talks about her years of efforts to move the world community to demand Hamas comply with international norms and return her son's body. At 10, it's the 20th annual gala of the American Friends of the Robin Medical Center with remarks from New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, among others. That's from the Plaza Hotel in New York City. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 3rd, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.